Happy New Year's everyone and welcome back to the channel. It's me Antonio back with another video today or this evening. It's about almost six hours into the new year. Woke up at four four four. So um I figure hey well let's not uh why not uh look at already the black cats are coming out. <laughs> um figure why not put out a video? I was gonna do some tarot. But um, I figured I did need to finish up the series on the seven deadly sins. So I will be talking to you guys today about envy. So, how are you guys doing? Hopefully you guys are safe. Learned something new from a sage. Never come into the new year with empty pockets. Even if it's just $5, make sure you have that money in your pocket or your wallet somewhere on your person as the new year um, comes in you know a little bit of late advice I mean. <laughs> but um, you know I was always late to class and I was still pretty successful so you know make sure you keep some money in your pocket today uh, put out the good intentions to receive abundance uh, green candles are good for uh, monetary abundance you know, ground yourself, get outside, um, you know, breathe in that fresh air, take a look at the moon before, you know, it's waxing and waning, you know, it's not a full moon anymore, so, you know, get out, glance at the full moon before it gets too late, um, but yeah, so getting into envy, envy is one of those things, people would consider it a, a negative emotion, because it falls somewhere on that emotional spectrum. You know, you have hate and then you have love. So envy, of course, falls somewhere on that spectrum. Uh, everyone has uh, different views, different uh, perceptions and ways of doing things. You know, you can be you can be too outwardly at, at some point. You know, you, there, there does uh, come to a point in time. Um, you know, time is, is an illusion. But we all go through phases, should I say, where... You know, we pay attention more to the outside world than we do uh, in ourselves. You know, we go through uh, a moment of envy, most of us. But en envy can just, just be described as that. You know, always looking outwardly at other people, places, and things. And always, you know, letting your mind wander, taking you into, you know, a bad space. Maybe I don't have this, or maybe I don't have that, or maybe I should copy this, or maybe I should copy that. That's where imposter syndrome can come from a lot of times as well. When people don't feel can feel like they don't deserve the things that they accomplished. That is a form of envy. You know, you was a nerd and you always looked up to the jocks, or you was a jock and you always looked up to the nerds as above, so below. You know, and that's the whole point of envy. Stop looking outwardly uh, at things, at the world in such a, a weird way. Have your own perception, but realize you have value. Your own perception, your own viewpoint on things is valuable. Everyone should be able to write a book. Everyone should be able to put out some form of knowledge. You know, I, I learned a lot of things in 2020 from a lot of people that I don't think was as intelligent as me, but they were wiser than me. You know, there's a difference between intelligence and wisdom. You know, wisdom comes with experience. It's intelligent to learn your experiences from other people around you. You know, it's, it, I was always the type of person to always watch people get in trouble <laughs> and learn from their mistakes. So, you know, there's different ways and there's different perceptions of doing things. So I would liken, uh, of course, envy to the third eye because when, you're, when your third eye is, is open, you can see a lot. You know, that's when your, your vision and your perception. Sorry, my nose is running. That's when your vision is 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 opened up more, so you get to see more things. And if you overuse your third eye, or you 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 know overextend your third eye into too many things, you know, and you're taking you taking the attention off of yourself, and you're just watching everything that goes on around you, you can become envious, or you can become uh, tired or lethargic, or you can feel. You know, and that's where that's where headaches come from. You know, you have to take that time to go inward to reassess your thoughts and realize you have things that make you uniquely you, that make you a unique treasure. 
You know, it's not always about impressing other people. You can impress yourself sometimes, and you can be surprised how easy it is to um, impress yourself. It's good to have high goals, and it's, you know, it's good to have morals and things like that. You know, we're all human. We're all going to die someday, so we're not immortal. But um, you want to live your life in a way where, <clears throat> like, I used to always have a fear of dying. Got rid of, the, got um, over that fear. Then I had a fear of getting old, you know. And where does that come from? That comes from, you know, growing up in the community where you get old and you struggle and you die. You lose your vision, all that stuff. Your bones break down. But that's, you know, then, you know you're, you're looking outwardly again. You know, pay attention to yourself, you know. It's not okay to be, you know, in your mid-40s and you're living life like an 80-year-old. can barely move. You know, you got all these labels and diseases and things that have been placed on you. You know, get out, get in nature, breathe fresh air, exercise. You know, go home, cook a nice home-cooked meal. Eat right. Got to have your vegetables and drink your water. I mean, we have 365 days out of the year. You, you can take 30 days to do a light cleanse or even a week. You know, drink water, eat vegetables. But, um, you know, that's where a lot of that stuff comes from. You know, people have, have an overactive third eye sometimes. They may not even know it because people are not aware of these different principles and these different aspects. You know, you're born with certain gifts uh, highlighted. And you're born with certain talents. And, you know, you develop skills over a time that's attuned with your soul, your soul mission and your soul spirit. You know, a person may look appealing to the eyes or, you know, may be able to talk um, in a certain way. They were given those gifts for a certain reason. You know, they, that may, they may be the type of person that's supposed to be some type of order or that's in front of people all the time. So they have to be appealing to the eyes. There's a certain, there's a certain reason why people have certain gifts. You know, so you just want to take that into account and be mindful of envy, you know. Be yourself be confident, you know. There's things that make you uniquely you that people won't understand. Uh, once you reach a point of mastery, then people will understand. You know, it's always, you know, when you when you find yourself, when you realize what you're here to, to become, you always look weird. Think about the four and five year old girls that we see on shows like Shark Tank that come up with these million dollar lemonade lemonade stand ideas and things like that. We look at that and we think, wow, that's outside of the norm but you know things like you know things like that are attainable you know you just be discerning do not have envy there's two different there's two different you know abilities of the you know the positive aspect of the third eye is being aware and being discerning negative aspect of the third eye is envy you know you're just over analyzing things and you're comparing yourself to it all the time that can lead you to a point of stag or stagnation you don't feel like you know you're doing everything everyone else is doing but yeah that's my um those are my two cents on um you know uh envy and in comparison to the third eye uh i think that's six down we have one more to go which is the crown chakra We'll see where uh, that takes us, you know, because that's dealing with spirit. That is a an interesting aspect of the uh, the seven deadly sins. Um, but yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed my post New Year's rant. <laughs> What's going on? 6 a.m. I think I might um, just go in the house and relax a little bit. You know see what the new year come uh, brings in all the happy new year's texans and everyone wanting to get together and just you know commune it's good to get off the new year on some good energy right but anyways you guys be safe i'll catch you on the next video